blocking, uh, recycling, taking off as well as they can in the city. And then the changing of law, change, constant changing of federal, state, and local laws is also making it difficult for both the industry and the city to do what I think rational long-term planning. Now, let me make it personal. What can you guys do? How do you determine whether your card is legitimate? How do you determine whether your card is executing sustainable waste management practices? Well, first of all, the legitimate part is very important. To collect garbage in New York City, you need to either be licensed or registered with this entity called the Business Integrity Commission. And if you have any, you should check their website to see whether they're on the list. And if they're not on the list, then that company is illegally operating. And while that may advantage you, because maybe you're getting a better deal because they're not complying with the BIC rules, it disadvantages the rest of the industry. How can you determine whether or not your car is executing or doing things that are sustainable? Well, you should, you should talk to them. Ask them, are you recycling our, the, the commingled waste that I generated at our restaurant? Are you taking that bale of paper and bringing it to a paper facility? How come you don't use an alternative fuel truck? You know, engage them. Solid waste companies are as a customer-driven organization. They want to service the customer. If the customer says, hey, we would like you to go green, they're going to pay attention to that. They're going to pay more attention to the customer than they are to data view. And some of the websites that you can use to learn more about this are the BIC's website that I mentioned. The Department of Sanitation has a very lush website with lots of information on it. And then there's a subunit of the uh, Department of Sanitation the Waste Less program that has a, a lot of information on recyclables. And in addition to the e-waste collection uh, projects that have been going on, there's a lot of uh, small-scale diversion things going on in the city that you should participate in. Um, there's material for the arts. It's a city project where they divert material so that uh, artists and, and creative people in schools have access to material. They diverted 725 ton last year doing that. The Waste Match program which uh, matches up industrial users who generate a specific type of, type of waste stream to someone who needs that as feedstock for a recycling activity. Uh, and in the schools, there's a trash master challenge that the city has been doing to try to get people to learn more, or to get kids, excuse me, to learn more about how to recycle. So where does this leave us? And the two most popular words anytime somebody does a presentation, if you don't know it, are in conclusion. In conclusion, the old system that we have all gotten used to in the city, where a truck picks up the garbage and dumps it at a landfill or dumps it at a transfer station, that's going away. It's being replaced by a multimodal waste system. Multimodal means more than one mode of transportation, rail, truck, barge, and it involves waste and recycling. Not everything can be recycled, <coughs> but certainly not everything needs to go into the, into the landfill anymore. And what this is doing is it is decreasing the use of landfill um, it, or, or the percentage of the waste that goes to the landfill. It's decreasing emissions because there's less trucks on the road. And it's promoting recycling and helping to reduce greenhouse gas. And our industry is helping to take the lead in this area. We want to we can, we play a role and we're committed to playing a role in maintaining public health in the environment, making sure that when you wake up in the morning, the streets are clean. Because magically, all that garbage that's put out at night magically goes somewhere. And we want to respond to both policymakers but to you, our customer, to make sure that we're serving your needs in an environmentally sensitive and sustainable manner. Um, I appreciate the opportunity to speak here. I should never do that. And I'd be glad to answer any questions that anybody has.